discussing module 7 of the organic chemical technology course which is dealing with the petrochemical production and the pet that will be 8 lectures of the various actually the aspect of the petrochemical production. So, first lecture that will be on the introduction of the petrochemical industry. This is the coverage of the lecture introduction of the petrochemical industry, petrochemicals, history of the Indian petrochemical industry, what are the development that has taken place. Because you see the Indian and the petrochemical industry that is not very old. It was only after the 60s that the we started the cracker plants, we started the manufacture of the ethylene from the cracker or the olefin from the cracker. Earlier when the evolution of the chemical industry which I discussed in the module 1 while discussing about the chemical industry, because most of the products which we are getting now the from the petrochemical or the petroleum load that was produced either from the that was from the non uh, petroleum route that was the either it was the acetylene route or it was from the methanol uh, ethanol from the molasses and from the ethanol to ethylene. Here actually the that was the event as I told you the 6, 70 and after the 70 there have been lot of development in the Indian petrochemical industry starting from the and naphtha to the gas cracker, low capacity cracker to the high capacity cracker plant. Um, Hajra, one of the large integrated uh, petrochemical complex or the in Indian oil and the how the things are changing that will be also discussed in the while discussing the integration of the refinery with the petrochemical. Basic building blocks, Indian pet petrochemical capacity for building block basic what are the various actually the major uh, petrochemicals which we are producing, basic building block processes, structure of the petrochemical complex, integration of the refinery with the petrochemical, petrochemical feed stock. This is about the um, petrochemical, you see this is a um, mother plant of the a cracker um, that is the cracker plant of a petrochemical complex. So, petrochemical industry has been playing important role in the social, cultural and the economic growth of a nation because whatever the products we are using in our daily life, um, it is in some or other way it is related to the petrochemical industry. This is the same as the chemical because the um, role of the inorganic chemical industry is there, but organic chemical industry because the most of the products which you are getting in it, this is from the organic uh, chemical industry. So, the even the development of the organic chemical industry that has been only because of the coming of the feed stock from the petrochemical industry. So, petrochemical have become an indispensable part of our life providing basic needs of the mankind, food, shelter and clothing, roti, kapra and makan. So, this is the how the petrochemical that has played a very important role in our daily life that they, they have revolutionized the whole economic growth of the country and at the same time providing the basic needs. This is the how the you see the I have told you this is the petrochemical industry they are providing the basic needs, clothing shelter, food, you will say the food, food means the various products starting from fertilizer to pesticide, all we are making through the petrochemical feed stock which you are getting, clothing there is in revolution from the cotton to polyester uh, and then polyester to acrylic fiber or the uh, tax cotton to nylon, even in case of the transportation sector also the synthetic fiber that has played important. Shelter, we are using the various product, especially the polymer in case of the uh, even the pipelines. Now, you will see the all the pipeline fitting, they are made of the polymers. In the electrical fitting, they are the polymer. So, that is the how the um, your petrochemical industry, they are playing important role. Petrochemical 
and the petroleum and petrochemical industry have revolutionized our life and are providing the major basic needs of a rapidly growing, expanding and highly technical civilization as a source of energy for domestic industrial transport sector and as a feed stock for fertilizer, synthetic fiber, synthetic rubber, polymers, intermediates, explosive, agrochemicals, dye and paint. So, these are the actually the various product which we are using in our daily life and this is the rule because the, we cannot imagine a petrochemical industry without petroleum refinery because the basic feed stock you are getting from the petroleum industry. So, that is why it is the petrol and petrochemical or sometimes now the new concept is the petrochemical refinery. This is the role of the petrochemical in industry. I discuss some of the things in case of the organic chemical. So, food we are making the fertilizer and the agrochemical fertilizer. We need the naphtha, we are producing the synthesis gas in case of the making of the ammonia and that synthesis gas that is also the important source of the petrochemical and ammonia that is also coming in the because now the raw material idea it was the coal. Now, the raw material is the naphtha or natural gas where we are doing the steam reforming or the partial oxidation in case of the heavy residue and agrochemical pesticide already uh, we will be discussing one lecture on the pesticide also. You see the we are uh, producing a large variety of the pesticide in the various forms insecticide, herbicide roadicide. So, all those pet, uh, your pesticide or insecticide they need the petrochemical feed stock. Clothing, synthetic fiber, dye stuff, textile, auxiliary specialty chemicals, shelter, polymer composite, coating, new performance material, detergent, health care, pharmaceutical, polymer, synthetic fiber and detergent this is uh, we required in case of the then the quality of life, you see the quality of life, how the improvement in the quality of life that has been because of the petrochemical, the transportation sector. You say the transportation sector, if you go to the any, you see any uh, new car and the old car, you will find the, uh, there is lot of variation because the material which you are using in the uh, car now and the any automobile sector. The, there has been vast change from the metallic to met polymer composite, polymer metal composite, lighter weight of the vehicle and then at the same time the tire. Now, we are talking about the tubeless tire, we are talking about the uh, longer life of the tire and so the main in case of the tire making this uh, your petrochemical industry that is playing very important role. Uh, the education, fuel education, now you are seeing the revolution in case of the uh, electronic industry or the computers industry. So, what are the, the whatever the product you are using in the electronics industry or making of the computers, now we are talking about the CDs. Mm, so, from where it is coming, all the com uh, components of the your computer from where it is coming, we are using the various type of the poly polymers which are available, fuel, electricity, energy, water supply management, communication, polymers and industrial chemicals. So, these are the some of the uh, actually the other products which are available which are helping in the improvement of our daily life and this is the role of the petrochemical industry. This is the product how they have, they have played a very important role in the industrial, economical development, cultural development of a country. How the petrochemicals they have, they are playing already have discussed packaging to agriculture, packaging industry. All the carry bags we used to have the um, paper carry bags now that is replaced with the um, your polyethylene bags because of the longer durability, lower cost, although there is some problem in case of polyethylene, similarly other packaging material, 
there is a lot of you see the pre-pollution in case of the um, mineral water bottle or these various um, packaging bottles which were being used earlier it used to be metal a uh, glass, but now what we are doing we are using all the um, PET resin that we are using. Agriculture you will find that in the agriculture how it is playing important role because through the pesticide that is one part, but you see the now the pipeline for the irrigation purpose, uh, pipes PVC pipe now normally it is being used in the various pipe. So, this is also the how the petrochemicals they are apart from the pesticide and fertilizer because fertilizer is always part of the petrochemical. Now and this is the reason why many of the fertilizer like the refinery integration of the refinery the petrochemical there is also the integrated fertilizer plant where we are not only making the fertilizer we are also making many of the petrochemicals and one of the large integrated fertilizer come the petrochemical complex is the Gujarat is a fertilizer complex at Bathodra where they are making the all the fertilizers phosphatic and then the nitrogen fertilizer and at the same time they are making the caprolactam, caprolactam they are making the melamine, they are making some of the other another development was the RCF they are also making lot. So, this is how the uh, development that is taking place. So, automobiles, so uh, telecommunication, construction to home appliances, heat, health care to personal care, you see the what is happening detergent industry, you take the case of the soap and there has been lot of the changes in the quality at the same time even the cost of the detergent. So, that is playing R even the non biodegradable nature which I was saying that is possible we are making now LAB linear calvin explosive where earlier that was the TNT, trinitrotylene that was the nitrosyl, TNT that was the one of the major explosive in PET and everywhere we are using some other form the petrochemical feedstock, pesticides to fertilizer already I discussed in the agriculture how they are playing very important. Textile to tire card because the tire card in the lining and this was the actually the government of the synthetic fiber industry during the world war one and world war two because there was need of the uh, more and more uh, tire for the automobile sector at that time and so the um, um, various synthetic fiber either it was the earlier viscose down polyester or the nylon 6 or nylon 66, they have played very important role in making of the tire. And the textile of course, already I discussed you the, how they have playing important role um, and because the cost of the polyester that is much lower than the what you are um, having for the cotton. So, this is the how the in the textile industry you, see, you are seeing the revolution in the reduction in the cost that is only because of the synthetic fibers which you are producing in the petrochemical industry, chemicals to form it. Already a large number of the intermediates we are manufacturing um, in the petrochemical chemical complex and that is finding application as intermediates. Uh, these are the some of the products already I have discussed these products, but uh, plastic and polymers, agriculture, water management, packaging, automobile, telecommunication, health, hygiene and the education. Synthetic rubber in the transportation industry, synthetic in health and hygiene, industrial chemicals, synthetic, synthetic rubber is the, now you are having the, uh, some of the cloths also where you uh, need the elasticity. So, industrial chemicals another very important product uh, of the petrochemical industry um, which is drugs, pharmaceutical, pesticides, dyes, explosive, surface loading, adhesive oil, pills, antioxidants, metal extraction, printing ink, paints and chemicals. The per capita consumption of the petrochemical in, in India is about 5 kg compared to the global weightage of 25 kg and China's consumption 
of around 25 to 30 kg. Oil refining and the steam cracking of the naphtha and natural gas are the common routes for producing the petrochemical. So, various plastic you see the in case of the polyethylene various quality of the polyethylene we are missing that is the low density, high density, linear low density polyethylenes, polypropylenes, PVC, polystyrene and some of the other uh, specialty polymers also we are producing that is the combination just like eclobutadiene styrene. So, ABS plastic and all those things. So, the polypropylene that has come in big way because the polypropylene huge amount of the polypropylene that we are using in the automobile sector and at the same time polypropylene fibers also. Polypropylenes in the all the because of the good uh, your um, this uh, uh, in the hospitals um, various actually the earlier we used to have the glass bottles and the thing for the glucose bottle, but now in uh, syringes glass syringes now it is all has been replaced with the polypropylene. Synthetic rubber first it was the styrene butadiene rubber, polybutadiene many of the uh, petrochemicals they are making because the butadiene that is produced from the naphtha cracker, butyl rubber, nitrile rubber. Again you see the one of the requirement in case of the uh, uh, your resistance towards oil. So, nitrile rubber they play important role. Synthetic fiber, various type of the synthetic fiber now we are having nylon 6, nylon 66, polyester, acrylic fiber, polypropylene fiber and in case of the synthetic fiber although viscose is not, now we are having the various brand of the viscose with the nylon, polyester or the acrylic. Intermediates, these are the various intermediate which are finding application in the various chemical industry, ethylene and uh, ethylene, propylene, DMT, PTA, caprolactam, aniline, ethanol, methanol, formaldehyde, aniline, thalic anhydride, malic anhydride and so on. A long list is there, this is the only a summary of the some of the intermediates which are making which is fine application in the petrochemical industry. Uh, petrochemical complexes. First generation um, that is the what we are the we started with the first generation chemicals that are the hydrogen, methanol, olefins, hydrocarbons, propylene, isoprene, aromatic benzene, etc. Even ammonia, ethylene, butadiene, these are all the first generation intermediate of the chemicals. That second generation intermediate introduction of the various hecto atoms into final molecule including oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine and sulfur by various unit processes uh, that was the intermediate, these intermediates were made. Target products, plastic, synthetic fiber, fertilizers, solvents, elastomer drugs, dye stuff, detergent, explosive, pesticide. So, this was the final the third generation you can say the after the uh, getting the various raw material from the, you take the case of the one of the paint industry because earlier it was the um, thalic anhydride that was available from the uh, naphthalene root which was available from the cocoman plant. Now all the thalic anhydride they are being made from the arthogel which are available from the end that thalic anhydride we are using the paint industry. This is the basic structure of a, any petrochemical complex that is the raw material that is going through basic building block processes and then the basic chemicals we are getting means here the basic building process already we have discussed in case of the organic chemical industry various process cracking, reforming all those process are there and then we are getting the basic chemicals and then some of the further unit op, uh, op, uh, process are there like the chlorination, sulfonation, sulfonation or it may be the oxidation hydroformation, so number of the action that is taking place with the chlorination is also there and so the hydrogen, oxygen, chlorine and mixed acid that you are adding and then you are getting the target product, the polymer, synthetic fiber, synthetic rubber because any combination that may be in any refined 
petrochemical complex. It may be only the polymer, it may be only synthetic fiber, synthetic rubber or even some of the intermediates which are needed just like you take that. All the petrochemical they are having the clean oxide and the clean MEG plant because the MEG plant, MEG that is required in case of the polyester manufacture. Uh, this in more detail about the various raw materials which we are getting the natural gas um, means the uh, it may be the natural gas condensate also and now in case of the natural gas cell gas uh, coal bed methane or even your this uh, gas hydrate they are going to play a very important role in case of the petrol already we have discussed in detail about the raw materials um, for the organic chemical industry, in that we discuss about the importance of the industry. Various unit processes that is involved related to the cracking, deforming, dealkylation, alkylation, disproportionation, isomerization, alumination, partial action. These are the various unit processes that is involved. We are manufacturing the basic chemicals, the methane, because the various chloromethane, chlorinated methane compounds are available, just like carbon tetrachloride. And then the chloroform, these are all the uh, methyl chloride, all these are the chlorinated, the chlorinated ethylenes are also there. So, these are the basic chemicals which are making um, the methane acetylene is also produced during the crack from the cracker plant, ethylene, propylene, syngas, butenes, butadiene, benzene, tyrene. These are the basic chemicals which are needed by organic chemicals. So, this is the major integrated part and then we can start any organic chemicals with using these raw material and these are the further unit processes and after that you are getting the basic chemicals, plastic resin, synthetic fiber which already I discussed. Let us discuss about the history of the um, petroleum industry in India. Union carbide set of the first ethylene complex with a capacity of 20,000 20, only. Now, we compare with the more than 8 lakh ton capacity that is 8 lakh, 8 lakh ton capacity of the reliance and the same capacity of the IOC Panipat refinery. So, you can imagine the capacity wise how the changes that has taken place that will be discussing while discussing the NEPTA cracker. So, this was the first starting of the petrochemical real in sense otherwise before that the ethylene that was being manufactured from the um, your alcohol to this molasses to alcohol and alcohol to. So, now sell with 60,000 TPA ethylene complex in 1968 in Thane. Now, it is closed because that is taken over by the Reliance and they have stopped this plant because of the lower capacity. Another plant that was set up there in the Thane that was the um, Fiber India, Chemical and Fiber India CFI at the Thane Belapur Road that was again taken over by reliance in the name of training fiber and, and, and that has been closed now and the all the um, your corporate office of the reliance industry where the Mukesh Ambani group or the Anil Ambani group that is there and the, this is the how the development in case of the petrochemical industry. So, synthetic and chemicals barely that was the first actually the plant non petroleum route um, ethanol based the styrene butadiene rubber petrochemical complex was set up that was the first integrated complex in 1977 in the public sector. Now, it is uh, actually IPCL is now the um, reliance industry they have taken all the four units of the IPCL and that was large about 17 plants are there here. Gujarat is set for and it is just near the because the IPCL and the GCFC, they were side by side of the Indian oil corporation and the basic raw material they were getting from these, uh, from the refinery. So, that is the integrated fertilizer and chemical complex. Bogainga refinery and the petrochemical come where they were making the DMT, DMT to polyester that were Bogainga refinery and petrochemical in Assam that was commissioned in 1974. Gujarat number the fertilizer and chemicals plant is started at Baruj that was the in Gujarat in 1976 commercial production of the Assam petrochemical at Namro because Namro there was the first fertilizer plant and the petrochemical plant 
where where they are making making the methanol and methanol to formulate. So that was the first point starting as some using the natural gas which is available from that oil field. So then another development, major development that was the coming of the Reliance and the um, your Nirma in the synthetic detergent industry. So uh, Nirma Limited entered in business of to carry on the business of the manufacturing and selling synthetic detergent, soap, chemicals and allied products in 1984. Tamil Nadu Petro Products that was the uh, one of the major unit and still they are making huge amount of the LAB. Reliance industry Patal Ganga which they started with uh, LAB and the polyester making in 1987. Reliance industry Hajira, that is the one of the largest integrated petrochemical complex and the in three phases that was the that came into existence and the further addition of the one more PT resin plant that was there earlier they were having the one unit and then it totally dependent upon the import um, for the import uh, export of the PT resin that was started. IPCL now Reliance Industry Nagotane that was the first cracker plant commission in 1992, Mangalore refining and petrochemicals again it has been taken by ONGC that was 1996. Nirma LAB plant came into 19 because Nirma they started with the small scale formulation and then the real plant of the Nirma LAB plant that came only in 1997. IPCL the Gandhar unit where they are having the gas cracker, VAM organic, one of the largest integrated chemical plant based on the molasses it started 2000. Here also the a large number of the plants are there. Uh, already we discussed while discussing the alcohol. Haldia petrochemical, first naphtha based petrochemical was started at Haldia in West Bengal 2001. Indian alcohol was interned in the petrochemical scene with LAB at Badoda in 2005. India's first largest cracker plant, the same capacity there around uh, Reliance Hajira cracker by OC Panipat was dedicated to nation in 2011. ONGC Petro Edition Limited implementing 1.1 million ton petrochemical complex the largest in the country. Various products will be polyethylene, polypropylene, benzene. It is near Gandhi same place where the Reliance they are having their butadine, carbon black. These are the some of the product they are expecting and already the progress. Uh, of the project is there, 2013 that was start. So these are the various basic um, building blocks, the cracking, thermal, catalytic, steam reforming, alkylation, addition of the alkyl group. These are the some of the alkylating, uh, alkylating engineer already we discussed uh, about the catalyst part and these are the some of the other um, basic raw material which are using for the um, alkylation. Petro, petrochemical building block because you see the any already we discussed about the structure of the what we are doing we are doing the cracking so naphtha is going to cracker and we are producing the ethylene, propylene and C4, C5 fraction because earlier C4, C5 fraction that was neglected part but now because of um, the more and more utilization of the C4 steam because we are getting the um, many large number of the value added product. So, the importance of the recovery of the gases C4 especially for the uh, isobutylene that has become very important. Similarly, the C5 steam um, that is containing the isoprene. Although in case of the naphtha we are recovering the butadine in the all the um, petrochemical complexes we are having the naphtha cracker. Naphtha to deforming and then deforming to aromatics, benzene, tyrolene, gyalene, natural gas fraction, ethane, propylene again it will go to the cracking, ethane and propylene will begin. So, these are the some of the um, building blocks what we call the kerosene extraction, LAB, LPG from the refinery again you can go for the cracking, propylene and butylene, gas oil, cracker, ethylene, ethane, propylene, butane you can go for the manufacture of olive alpha olefins, 
which is finding use in case of the some of the polymers. These are the some of the install uh, capacity of the major feed stock, major products which are getting from the refinery, ethylene, propylene, butadiene, benzene, trimethyl. because in case of the cracker plant, we are getting a complementary steam that is the pyrolysis gasoline. So, this is the production and install capacity in million tons of the in case of the refined mixed xylene because ortho xylene actually the ortho xylene that is um, um, that is being a very important physical stock of thalic anhydride which is being used in the paint industry as plaster. Para xylene that is for the your polyester manufacture that is one of the major um, raw material for the uh, TP or the DMT, LAB, linear archive engine, ethylene oxide and phenol. If you divide all the organic chemical or the petrochemical C1 group, methane, synthesis gas, derivative C2 group, ethane, ethylene, ethylene derivatives, acetylene, C3, propane, propylene, propylene derivatives, C4, C5, butadiene, benzene, and aromatic. So, these are the some of the basic hydrocarbon group and we will be discussing in the next few lectures the various product in each case in 4 5 lectures about the what are the uh, C1 organic, C2 hydrocarbon, C3 hydrocarbon and C4 hydrocarbon. Major end products already we have discussed um, polymer synthetic fiber, synthetic cover, synthetic detergent, chemical intermediate, dye intermediate, chemical intermediate and pesticides. These are the basic building processes already we have discussed cracking, steam reforming and the partial oxygen. This is for the synthesis gas, making of the synthesis gas and from the synthesis gas means the synthesis gas hydrogen and nitrogen that is synthesis gas for the ammonia, but CO and H2 which are manufacturing that will go for methanol, that will go for the methanol to um, your olefins um, are now the newer technology or what we call it the methanol to olefin, methanol to plastic like that. So, in all that steam reforming that is going to play very important role and at the same time steam reforming that is being the all the refineries they are having the steam refining because the we need the hydrogen in the various process. Catalytic reforming for the aromatic production. Some of the aromatic conversion process also their alkylation, oxo processes, polymerization processes from where we are getting the various products. This is the basic structure of a already we discussed earlier the what are the basic structure, the feed stock, operation, these are the major operation and naphtha, natural gas, gas oil, LPG, wax, kerosene and then the operation reforming, cracking, extraction, dehydrogenation, just like because online production of the propylene from the ethane propane that has become also one of the uh, major process uh, to meet the requirement at the site. And so, the, these are the products which we are getting from the reforming, from the cracking, a long list of the products are there, extraction in from the kerosene already we have discussed while discussing the linear alkyl engine, dehydrogenation. Like so, these are this major petrochemical uh, feed stock which are yielding in the petrochemical complex natural gas condensate. That is also because huge amount of the condensate which is rich in the aromatic and now in future we are going to utilize this uh, natural gas condensate also. So, the gaseous natural gas condensate, refining gases, coal bed methane, solids, coal, coke, wax, residue, biomass, agriculture because why I have added this um, last two part that is the coal, coke or wax agriculture because now we are refining they are going for the petro coke gasification. So, the petro coke or the coal, coal to synthesis gas and then this synthesis gas that can be used for making of the various um, products which you are getting from the petro coke. Similarly, the um, your biomass means ethanol, ethanol to 
by this uh, petrochemical. Some alternative feed stock, naphtha from the methane from natural gas to liquid processes, naphtha from because you see the in case of the GTL technology, which are saying that is because now the GTL technology that has um, become a very important uh, process for making of the utilization, better utilization of the um, natural gas to natural gas to liquid technology, natural gas to chemical, naphtha from the coal via direct liquefaction and indirect liquefaction by fissure trough synthesis. Plastic waste to naphtha and other hydrocarbons through liquefaction, pyrolysis and separation process. Because this is also because we are producing huge amount of the plastic waste and so the how to utilize this plastic. So, that there is a lot of the work that has been done and the some of the smaller plants they are already in operation for the destructive distillation of the plastic waste to get the um, monomer back. FT naphtha from the biomass again from the biomass as you see the as discussed while discussing the in the introductory raw material biomass that is coming in a big way for the providing the for making the synthesis gas through the gasification route or from the fermentation route the ethanol. Methanol routes again we are talking about the various technology synthesis gas from methane, coal and biomass, conversion of synthesis gas to methanol uh, and production of olefin by methanol to olefin technology. So, this is the from the methanol route. Now, we are talking about the mm, gas to liquid technology that is the gas to methanol and methanol to again you can go for making of the large number of the product. Product either it means formaldehyde from methanol or these products that is the mm, again methanol to olefin technology that methanol to propylene technology that has become very important. Then the conversion of methanol to dimethyl ether, this is also one of the very important uh, process that is going to the future defined because dimethyl ether that is a very good component, high octane component. Product recovery and separation of the recovery of the C4, C5 steam from FCC and steam tracker. Again, as I told you the earlier, we are not only it was the up to the propylene part. Because the birth of the petrochemical, if you see that was with the recovery of the propylene from the FCC and during the 1920 when the first refining came, 20 or 30 I think. So, the propylene that was recovered, but C4, C5 steam that was not except when the MTB was there. So, I should butyl infection um, the, that was used for the your um, MTB, but other fraction butane, isobutane, butane 1, butane 2, these are all present in case of the C4, C5. Another very important product that is the isoprene. So, recovery of the C4 and C5 steam from the FCC and steam tracker that is uh, that will pay high revenue to the petrochemical complexes. And so, this is the reason why in future we may think of the recovery of the more. Um, chemical from the C4 and C5 steam of the cracker plant or the FCC. Oxidative coupling of methane to olefin. This is also one of the emerging technology that we are going to have. So, that the methane because you see the natural gas, we are having a plenty of the methane. So, why not utilize this methane for making of the olefin? So, this is one of the technology that is another technology that is for the natural gas to aromatic by using the cycler process. In case of the that cycler process, ethane propane from the natural gas that can be used for making of the uh, aromatics from the propane and butane. And that process already one plant and that is working on the based on the cycler process. Although it was developed long back, but still uh, not many, but in the GTL technology now the units are there. Ethanol from biomass already I have discussed about the importance 
gasification of the biomass and the form then the fermentation to alcohol, carbon dioxide to liquid fuel because the in the refinery we are producing uh, huge amount of the carbon dioxide. Now that can be the, now the technology are available. In the future it may be the carbon dioxide may be utilized um, for making a large number of the chemicals. Gasification of the petroco to hydrogen. As I told you, the hydrogen production that is integral for of the refinery as well as the petrochemical because we are having the large number of the your hydro desulfurization process, P treatment of the feed before it is going to the main process, even in case of the fertilizer manufacture, in making of the um, other petrochemicals, the for reforming, you take the reforming, it has to be P treated the um, your naphtha before it is going to the reforming or production of the aromatic. So, this is the uh, hydrogen production that is going to be the, because till now what we are doing most of the petro coke that was being used by the fuel by other agencies like cement plant and integration the, the next part that is the changes in the of petroleum and petrochemical industry because you see the petroleum industry that is a highly costly um, energy we need. And so, what is happening in case of the petroleum refinery, the products which are being made that is under control and you cannot increase the cost. And so, the refinery now they are going for the integration of the refinery with the petrochemical to produce more and more value added product because uh, the very system which we are getting from the refinery that can be used and that was the one of the I will be discussing about the how the integration of the refinery with the petrochemical that is done in the in case of the um, reliance industry and at the same time now the Indian Oil Corporation Panipat refinery. Advances in the processing technology are playing a larger role in integrating refinery and the petrochemical facility. In the changing scenario of petroleum refinery and the petrochemical production integration will be of vital importance for maximizing the use of byproduct and improving the overall economy of the petroleum refinery. Integration of the refinery with the petrochemical. A great deal of the synergy exists between the refinery, aromatic complex and a steam cracker plant. A new concept for the refinery petrochemical integration or low to moderate level of integration uses 5 to 10 percent of the crude, high level of the integration petrochemical refinery, these complexes produce a significant amount of petrochemicals compared to the fuel. So, this is in the future refinery as I told you gasoline free, why you are saying the gasoline free refinery? Because some of the operation definitely that will be there uh, which is there in the refinery, but the major product emphasis will be on the petrochemicals not the gasoline or the diesel. So, this is the how the petrochemical industry are going to be or be the concept of the petrochemical refinery is there. A great deal of the synergy exists between the refined aromatic complex and a steam cracker complex for the integration of the refined the petrochemicals. In so, petrochemical process within the refinery which will help in the integration of the refinery and petrochemicals are propane propylene recovery from FCC gas already we are doing, ethylene from the FCC gases because the FCC gases they are containing although concentration is low that is why but in the future definitely will have to recover because the large capacity FCC are there to 7 to 8 percent of the ethylene that can be recovered from the C4 and C5 recovery from the FCC already we have discussed. C4s from the naphtha crack and defined the to LPG pool as well as feed to the cracker, aromatic recovery and the conversion processes. Light and sand light naphtha conversion, residue in the coke gasification, hydrogen production, butane to malic and light and derivative, benzene, cumin, phenol, acetone, 
because there has been lot of the change you are finding because the benzene that is coming from the aromatic plant, propylene that is coming from the where the cumin process where we are using the benzene and cumin, phenol and acetone, As phenol is the main product, acetone is the byproduct, benzene cyclohexane, caprolactam and paraffin extraction from kerosene for LAB, valorization of the refining steam, light cycle oil, light cycle gas oil and heavy cycle gas oil. So, these are the other that can be used in the, the various form in the petrochemical complexes. Recovery of the valuable chemicals cyclopentanin, dicyclopentanin, isoprene, piprene, because cyclopentanin again because we are using in case of the paraxylene that is the um, for the dissolvent. So, there is a lot of the scope of the uh, especially the isoprene and the cyclopentanin there. Isobutylene which I told you from the C4 fraction for alkylation, use of C7, C8 steam from the benzene extraction, maximize the use of natural gas in, in a refined petrochemical complex, offer higher margins and lower carbon emission. This is one of the process that has been developed by uh, Indian Oil Corporation. Indian is a versatile indigenous technology adding value to up steam and down steam of the oil industry. Indian is a catalytic cracking process for upgradation of low value naphtha to very high yield of the LPG containing high olefins such as propylene, ethylene and butylene. So, this is a, because we are interested in the more and more ethylene and propylene. Surplus kerosene and the gas oil range fraction can also be processed along with the naphtha. Uh, this is the typical integration of a refinery with the petrochemicals and sometimes the back, we call it the backward integration, sometimes it is called the vertical integration you, because the reliance industry they started with the retailing of the uh, fabrics and then they started making the polyester and the your this lab and then the they went for a large petrochemical complex um, um, hajira from the cracker the various products you are getting already uh, will be discussing while discussing of the um, next few lectures about the products which you are getting from the cracker it may be the ethylene propylene um, these are the some of the major products, butadine. So, ethylene that is going for the manufacture of large number of the chemical already, what are the various products we have discussed from the ethylene route, from the alcohol to ethylene, from ethylene to various products and all those products that can be made, even alcohol can be made from the ethylene, but we are not practicing because most of the alcohol, uh, ethylene which we are producing, uh, alcohol which are, we are producing from the molasses route. So, this is the vertical, they now they are in the last they enter in the gas, gas, oil and gas explosion and then the biggest one of the largest refinery, 60 million tons of refinery at Jamnagar refinery that was the uh, actually the real revolution in the petroleum and the petrochemical industry in India and the reliance they have been um, or you can say the Dhiru uh, Bhai he was the person, it was the his vision that now India is on the map, uh, world map of the petroleum and petrochemical industry and the large amount of the um, your petrochemical or the refining product we are export, importing, not importing, exporting. So, these are the one of the I was telling the how the integration that has been done and it was in 1970. These are the some of the products which are being made in case of the IPCL. Some of the units because of the low capacity they have been closed just like DMT that plant has been closed, but still many of the plants we are running and this was the concept of the large integrated when the IPCL unit was there and the same concept now 
they are having because you see the IPCL, Gandhar unit, Reliance Gandhar unit, they are going to have, they are going to add few more product there where they are making the uh, your polymers PVC or the polyethylene, ethylene glyca, ethylene oxide. Now they are going to have the polyester plant also there. So, this is the how the integration of the. So, this was about the uh, in the next few lectures we will be discussing about the cracker and the various product which you are getting and the making of the various intermediate and the final products. That will be the module 8 also we will be discussing about the how these product from the petroleum industry we are making the finished product starting from the polymer synthetic fiber or uh, synthetic rubber all those things that will be discussed in detail. So, this is all about the um, Indian about the petrochemical industry and in particular about the Indian petrochemical industry, how the development that has taken place and how the importance of the petrochemical in our daily life is there. Because now you cannot imagine life without petrochemical or their products. So, this is the thing. So, the next lecture will be on the naphtha cracker and the gas cracker from where we are producing the olefins.